Welcome, welcome back to Gil News, where the news is good and the edit is bad. Today, uh, not much has really happened this past few weeks, to be honest. Uh, while there were a number of new Game Informer articles, really not that much was said that was different from the main one. So the article at the start of July was about the Veilguard difficulty options. There are about four different options, a story mode, an adventure mode, a nightmare mode, and a mode where you get to pick and choose different elements to sort of make your own difficulty, including if you want to be able to die or not, which caused a bit of a stir. I don't really care. Moving on. The next article was a little bit about armor, a couple of tidbits about changing you and your companion's armor, and that there is a transmog system, meaning that you can use the stats of one armor but the appearance of another. It's also been confirmed that you can hide your helmet during the gameplay. After that, there was an article about nudity. There are tits and uh, no confirmation on penis. Um, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> uh, I'm actually scared if this game adds dick to the series. We can't handle it. Y'all aren't responsible enough for canon dick. I've seen the Baldur's Gate people. We can't do this, guys. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, the other odd bit to talk about is the fandom party. Um, I kind of hate calling it that, but it's a company called Fandom, not like Dragon Age fans making a party. But anyway, Fandom, most known as the entity that hosts a bunch of the wikis, including the Dragon Age one, and um, like all this other stuff on screen, has partnered with EA to make like a 20th anniversary thing during the San Diego Comic Con, and it's presented by Veilguard. There is apparently some sort of Dragon Age themed scavenger hunt along with what I assume to be a Dragon Age themed photo booth from the sentence, uh, and it's all happening on July 25th. Um, which is like a random Thursday. I don't know anything about Comic-Con, maybe that makes more sense. But yeah, technically that's the next big date to watch out for. Um, as usual, I'll be collecting any and all information on it, and after the event I'll post my findings in one of like these types of videos. So uh, if you are going to this, please tag me on Twitter, or Blue Sky, or even Instagram, which I rarely use these days, but like send me pictures. What was it like? Was it kind of lame? Was it cool? Was there anybody there? What is this? <laughs> so yeah. And uh that's it. That's that's it guys. Uh there should be one more uh Game Informer article due out this week, but uh they've been pretty light on anything new. And I'm kind of busy later this week, so y'all get this now and uh Darash roll.